I am Grace on tour, and travel has been my biggest passion ever since I can remember. After studying in Taiwan and doing my thesis in Hong Kong, I graduated from university in June 2019. Since then, I've been exploring the world and counting countries. I made it to number 76 when a world pandemic hit, and I had to cut my trip through Africa short and travel back home. Since then, I've made the most out of the situation and explored my beautiful home country of Sweden. In the previous video, I brought you along my first night train experience to the north of Sweden. After not getting so many hours of sleep, I arrived to the high coast and in this video, I bring you along my adventures there. So, I have joined the gang and uh, I'm going to have my breakfast in the car, heading to the first spot of the day. We're starting our sightseeing at 5.40 in the morning. So I have some oatmeal with me and uh, bought a, a coffee to um, wake up. So let's head to the first spot. Heading to the lighthouse. So the first spot of the day is a lighthouse in Hwepsmalm and uh, we're walking on the small path which is marked with blue signs. It's quite strange because you have the, the blue markings here but it's just no real path just going over the cliffs but I can see the sea in the distance so I think we're getting close. So this was definitely one of the strangest hikes I've been on. Uh, we fe it feels like we're just going around in circles, but it's quite scenic. And we have spotted the lighthouse. It's way over there. lighthouse and now we're taking the easy road back to the car um, but a fun fact is that this place uh, Höga Kusten or the high coast became a world heritage site in the year of 2000 uh, for its unique beauty and uh, yeah this is just one of the many spots that uh, it's renowned for but yeah, we're going to head to some more nature spots. So we're here right now. I arrived with the train here. And we're heading to some of these spots. Here we have the small fishing village called Schweppes Malmen. And on the way back to Anschultsvik you will pass the factory that makes uh, the Swedish uh, delicacy of suströmming or sour fermented herring. Um, personally as a vegan I don't eat it and uh, the smell is something that I would never eat but it actually is a lot of people that eat it. Um, and here is the one of the factories that makes it. And this is how the brand looks like which you can find in the Swedish grocery stores. Here we have the ski jumping arena in Övik. And here we have the training jumping slopes. And we have made it to the top of Övik. Uh, as you can hear in the name, Vik means bay. And here we have the bay of Örnsköldsvik. 
and uh, yeah from this spot you can see the whole city and the surroundings and it's really really picturesque and uh, beautiful have made it to the southern entrance of the national park or national reserve and uh, there are three main attractions in the area in the UNESCO uh, World Heritage Area we have the Höga Kustenbron which is a big bridge Skuleberget which is a uh, mountain top and then Slottedals Skrevan which is a formation in the between two mountains and uh, we're heading to that one now um, so it's about from the parking three kilometers to it and then three kilometers back so we're starting the hike now so the first part of the hike is on board like this so it's easy to walk on and I have to be completely honest, as I didn't sleep much tonight, I'm feeling a bit tired. Um, but I think coming out in nature and going for a hike hopefully will wake me up. <laughs> uh, so if you're planning on coming to this place, uh, my biggest tip would be to come here early. Um, this place is only accessible, I believe, in summer. but. During the summertime, it gets really, really crowded, and um, actually, they close off the parking once uh, it's full. There are not a lot, of, a lot of parking spots either, so come here early so to avoid the crowd and get this place uh, to yourself. And the boards can get a bit slippy as well, and they are going like up and down so just be careful and hold on to the rail you're not maybe doing the most quickest hike or effective but yeah just be careful mom almost broke her leg here because this is broken so and now the boards end but just be careful they were quite broken and uh, yeah so you don't break the leg And here we've reached a small little waterfall and uh, yeah we're continuing on I think it's still about two kilometers left it's not going uh, so fast because of the walking surface <laughs> but yeah we'll get there 1.8 kilometers to go not the best terrain here and now we have all these rocks to get over. Oh, and a flat surface again, yay! So far, I must say it's a very picturesque hike, although the terrain has uh, been a zero points out of five. It's quite a bad terrain. Update, we're still hiking <laughs> in this quite interesting terrain and there's still half a kilometer left. See you there. <laughs> I think we finally have the finish line way up there so let's just do the last part together. Okay, false alarm. Even further to go.
have made it to the very top and we're rewarded with an amazing view over the sea and yeah we're going to catch our breath a bit before we have start hiking back the very long way back <laughs> um, but yeah this is definitely worth it the view is totally amazing Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out I'm too lonely And just to tie it all up It's starting to rain <laughs> So now we have to get back <laughs> But it was a very nice viewpoint and uh, yeah but I think the rain is telling us to start heading back. So as you can tell, we got stuck in the rainstorm, but we were very fortunate that it happened while we were walking down, because um, we still got to see the amazing view. Uh, unfortunately, it makes the hike back a bit more challenging, as especially the wooden planks get very, very slippery when wet. Same for the stones and the wood and everything, so... Um, yeah, but so we're taking our time. We finally made it back uh, to the parking lot. And as we can see now, there are lots of people that have uh, started the hike. We, um, while we were walking up, we didn't see, meet anyone coming down. But when we were walking down now, there were just lots of people walking up. So definitely come early. Um, and now we're going to head to uh, the family's cottage to meet up with the rest of the family. <laughs> 